create a menu, it's the same procedure, whether it's a beverage machine, it's a stacker like this, it's a glass front, it's a snack machine, a frozen machine. First, you're going to look at the machine. How many selections do we have? We have six selections inside this machine. This particular machine has 10 columns. I'm going to just set my menu up on this piece of cardboard just like the machine is inside with its columns. Doesn't have to be fancy. I use a big piece of cardboard like this when we're setting a machine up because it's easy to find. It's not going to blow away very easily. It stays with the machine. And then we're going to look at the demographics of our account, see who's there, what kind of hours they work. I look at their race. I look at their country of origin, the region they come from, um, you know, people in different cities even within the same state will have very different eating habits, drinking habits, people with different types of works. A lady in an office is not going to be drinking and eating the same kind of things as, say, um, uh, someone who is working out in a hot warehouse or doing physical labor. Um, so once I do this, then I make my choices of what's going to go in the machine, and I write down the selection number on, on when I do a beverage machine like this. So I'm going to say these two are going to be Coke and Coke. I like having... If I'm going to double up columns, I don't like to put them side by side. I like to put them front to back. I like to put the columns that are really busy far right where it's easiest to load. Um, so I'm going to go Coke, Coke over here. I'm going to go Dasani and Dasani, especially because water bottles tend to jam and they take up a lot of room. So I usually have two or more columns of water in a machine. Uh, and then I'm going to say, well, we know we have six selections. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two more columns can be doubled up. In this machine, I'm going to go Diet Coke, Diet Coke. And then here, I'm going to put um, Fanta Orange, Sprite. And I make both of these Cherry Coke. Or if I don't think I'm going to sell a lot of Cherry Coke, maybe I'll leave this back one empty. And if one of these is selling a lot more than the rest, I can adjust and add a column of that in later and just not program that column. Put in my pricing. Maybe I'm going to do all these at a dollar. This is, makes it easy for me. Maybe I told the customer water is going to be $1.25. This makes it easy for me to program this machine. Once the machine's programmed, I'm going to take a sticker, put it on the inside, if there isn't a blank sticker there already, with this written much smaller so that whenever I'm filling the machine, I can refer to it inside and make sure I'm putting the right product in the right columns.